back at it on morning of day three got the overflow pipe on the trailer mike's down here finishing up the back corner where the spillway is going to go and i'm heading down here to lay out where the overflow is going to go in go ahead and start digging that he's going to come up here and grade all this out where i rake dirt out uh, in between the trees we're going to shape this place up today and get it taken care of come back in the morning and we got to seed and straw the pond dam and this project is done let's put the overflow pipe in i dig the ditch for it all right this right here is my grade of the pond dam I stand and get this dug through. Go put the pipe together and bring it down here. Well, that didn't take long to do with the 220. So, got the uh, trench for the overflow on grain. Cut the laser off so I don't kill the battery. And go up there and get everything ready to start putting the pipe together. Boop. Well, we might not have any water by the time we get there, but we had good intentions. As long as I can fit between the trees. All right, so we got our pipe down here. Left enough water in there for concrete, although the concrete started to uh, it's got a head start on get it. a little wet. Yeah, it's got a head start. So we got that put in. That just worked perfect. Didn't even have to cut or add a third piece so max, my, uh, mac mike is going to hold it level i'm gonna put some dirt on it and then we get our favorite tool i think it's more of your favorite tool. i think it's yours get the perfect shot here you guys see the see the bubble we got one job we got one job to do together keep it level Too 
jabby. He's uh, definitely got plenty of machine for this little job. <laughs> I don't know if you got enough machine for this. I'm good. It's perfect size. Uh, we're a little bit off for not much. Pretty doggone close. Yeah. You have extra. Never. 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 It disappears in Indiana too. Yeah. Okay. But technically we should probably have probably what six yards left. Six or seven yards. We'll never see it. Well we we end up missing like three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some things are consistent. Just wanted to verify that that was the same. Thing. Yeah, it's not you. Okay. I don't know if I'm like just evaporate or something. <laughs> Well, the overflow pipe is now in and back filled. Mike's been working on grading all the dirt out up there. So he'll come back down here and dress the pond dam up. Just kind of cut the spillway in. It's about uh, 12 inches lower than top of the dam. Just kind of rough that in so he can slick that up with the dozer. So. Pretty much all that's left to do now is uh, pack the laser up and we'll take the machine up there and clean the tracks off while he finishes this up, strap everything down in the trailer and we'll be ready to roll out. On the home stretch now, Michael's finishing the uh, lot up right here. We had a little fire right there, spreading that out. And uh, while he does that, I'm going to enjoy his last Pepsi my half a brownie for my birthday and a pack of crackers. Well, that was uh, fun shoveling off that mud that had been on there for about two and a half months. Got all that cleaned up. He's finished running over this. Just tried to rough grade the house lot out a little better. Uh, they're hopefully going to start building here for long, so It'll all get tore up, but tried to level it out so they could survey it a little bit better. Got that dirt knocked down in between all the trees. And while I was doing that, he has uh, slicked up the top of the dam. And now I was tra tracking in the front face of it. We do that just because it's, uh, it's going to be a while before this fills up since it's strictly a runoff pond. And uh, it just kind of helps keep that from eroding and it'll kind of give the seed a little bed to to lay in there and get established so turned out to be a right nice little pond it's probably close to uh touch less than three quarters of an acre if not if not three quarters it's it's a little bigger than it looks like but got a uh, nice edge around here I like your track down, it just makes everything look a lot nicer. We got that little uh, ditch diverted so that it'll run into the head section right here.
push that corner up, we'll be gone. Well, we made it back here. You know, it never rains until it's time to put seed in straw. And what it's it? It's gonna rain. This is a good time to do it. Normally, I have good luck where it rains like shortly after, and I'm. I think we missed it by about four hours. Yes, didn't rain at the house, but it rained just enough here to make it what? Sticky. Sticky. Well, luckily, it got just enough where the seed should start germinating. But we kind of made a little bit of a minor mess but it's it could have been a whole lot worse so we could be shaking this by hand because it's too wet to back down here sure. so the good news is we're back here so let's get the uh blower fired up and pretty much i'm just strolling as far as it'll reach from right here pretty much the dam we're uh we've got 21 bales so i'm gonna go from here probably three feet down to the water level all the way down on the back side so let's get the party started
I think it's shaped up nice here. We've got the uh, straw on the pond dam. The straw helps keep the moisture down for the grass seed to help germinate. Um, all this, he's going to end up grading it out or doing whatever. So normally we just try to stabilize the pond dam as it is the important feature for the pond. Everything else is original ground. It really won't erode too bad, but all this being fill will erode if you do not stabilize it. So we got all this graded out yesterday and the overflow put in and now it just needs some rain to fill it up. So normally these ponds will fill up over the winter time. During the summer, we tend to have some pretty good dry spells, but over the winter, it gets colder and wetter and the um, runoff really adds up. So all these ponds are normally full by springtime. Uh, I don't think we've had a dry winter in a long time. So uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be back in the area one day and can come back here and check it out. So hope you enjoyed following along and um, thanks again to my dozer operator. It was yeah i guess i'm gonna have to return the favor right trade our labor out it's just uh we're both so busy it's hard to get together. i know it really is just kinda got lucky but, it's worked out. you know sometimes you're just gonna have to make time so we'll see hopefully i can get up there and see how you do it you see you get to see how i do projects and it's i think that's fun about that being the, able to meet the people ultimate, and, the ultimate goal is the same but the method we go about it is completely different so hopefully i can get up there and experience the way you tackle a project and Hopefully make a few videos out of it and everybody can enjoy enjoy everything we get to do. That's the great part of this business is we get a lot of opportunities to meet people and do a lot of fascinating projects. So I really appreciate appreciate Experience. you coming down here and helping. Experience new things and learn. That's right. So thanks for everybody for uh, following along on this pond and I'll see you on the next one.